guys, Nathan here from Running Warehouse Australia and Mizuno have released a brand new race day shoe for the half marathon up to the marathon. And you know what? I'd even be tempted to run a five or a 10K in them. This maybe seems like it's been a long time coming from Mizuno, but they really wanted to get it right. And we got to test some of the early prototypes um, and the tweaks and changes they've made have really made this shoe something special. I'm of course talking about the new Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro. Some quick stats from Mizuno on the Wave Rebellion Pro. A men's size nine is gonna weigh in about that 210 gram. A women's size eight, about the 180 gram mark. It's got 39 mils in the heel, 34.5 mils of stack in the forefoot for a 4.5 mil heel to toe drop. So first off, we're gonna look at the midsole and I guess we can't really talk about the midsole without talking about the geometry. It's quite extreme. It's got a very aggressive heel bevel and it goes up to that four foot rocker. Mizuno calls this their smooth speed assist. And then in the midfoot, we get a very healthy chunk or should I say chunks, because this is a, a dual layered um, foam midsole. So up top, you get Mizuno's Energy Light Plus, which is gonna be just a little bit softer. So when you land, it's gonna compress nicely and be a nice soft landing. Sandwiched uh, in between the two foams is a carbon infused nylon um, plate. And then underneath is Mizuno Energy Light. It's, it's still quite soft, but is a little bit more responsive. So as you roll through your stride, it's gonna pop you off the toe. As I said, you've got that plate sandwiched in between the two layers of foams just to add that little bit of structure to the the Piba foams that this is a Piba based foam um, provide that structure and then responsiveness as you go through your stride all right talking about running in it because we have run in these a fair bit um, as you can see it has a very large cutout underneath which reduces weight now whilst the carbon plate does provide um, some added structure and stability i find found on some corners um, it could be a little bit unstable especially when i put them on um, in the first kind of uh, few runs i found them a little bit unstable cornering um, but once i got used to that little bit of instability um, it wasn't as much of a problem also whilst we're underfoot let's talk about mizuno's g3 outsole um, the outsole is gonna be super durable. Um, it's really grippy when you're out there on the roads. Um, I wouldn't be concerned on wet days, uh, running through uh, aid stations which are wet. Um, this thing will grip on just about anything. Moving on up, as you would expect from a premium racing flat, it's got a really lightweight, breathable, engineered mesh upper, a really light tongue. And now the tongue is probably the other area um, of concern for me. I found that it's not gusseted, it's not joined um, into the uh, upper at all. And so when I was first putting it on, I really needed to make sure that I was very precise in, in where um, the tongue was going. I also found maybe it was a little bit short, but apart from that, it's a very comfortable upper. Um, it kind of melted away on my foot. I have used this in a half marathon race. The upper melted away on my foot and I completely forgot about it, which is what you want. So the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro is a seriously unique, and propulsive race day option. Now, I enjoyed it in the half marathon that I ran in it for that midfoot cushioning. It gave me the landing that I wanted underfoot, and then the transition through to toe was seriously um, fast and responsive. You know, it, it got me up to speed very quickly. The cornering could leave a little bit to be desired, as I mentioned, but it is definitely a fun, unique shoe. So as always, you can find these and more at Running Warehouse Australia, runningwarehouse.com.au.